joining me on today's tip of the week. Today we're going to be talking about sending electronic secondary claims to insurances. This is a new feature that's available in version 16. Just like you were able to send primary insurance claims in all the previous versions, you can now send electronic secondary claims. The key to being able to send an electronic secondary claim is the ability to save and store the reason for each of your insurance adjustments from the primary insurance company. This is done one of three ways inside the program. The first way is when you're doing electronic remittance advice, so an ERA file, the insurance company does provide their reason when they send the ERA. So for example, if I came down here and double clicked on this line, it tells me exactly the code and the reason here. And that's saved back into the program so that it can be placed on the secondary claim to be sent to the insurance. If you're not doing electronic remittance advice, you're posting a check by hand, then it can be one of two different ways. Number one, when you're posting your payment off the EOB and you type in your information and you get into this adjustment column, by default sometimes it puts in an adjustment if you have an allowed amount in or you could have manually typed something in. You can come over here to the left hand side and there's an option here to click on and it will allow you to put in the category and reason code here. So you can do that for each of the lines directly in the payment window. If you didn't do it in here for whatever reason, because you didn't want to, or whatever other reason it might be, there is a third option. And that is when you go to send the actual secondary claim. So we'll take this one here. That's the primary has already been paid, so we want to send it to the secondary. We say send selected e-claims. We choose the secondary option here, which is key, obviously, if we're going to send a secondary claim. And when we click send, I'm going to say no on this. We have a little message box that comes up here. It says some of these adjustments don't have the reason or the codes, so it asks if we want to put them in. If we hit yes, and this little pop-up box will come up, and up at the top it'll show you all the people in the batch that have claims that need reasons in there. Down below, the person is highlighted. It'll show you the specific dates of service for that person. And if you click on the little plus sign here, it's going to show you the adjustment underneath the code and you have the option to come in here and put in your adjustment code and your reason. Once you've done that, you save and close it, and it's gonna allow you to continue sending the claim. It's key to make sure that you have an ANSI module set up in order for this to work. So if you'd like to send electronic secondary claims and you don't have an ANSI module set up for your clearinghouse, please contact us and we'll get that set up for you. Thanks for joining me on today's tip of the week. We hope you'll join us again next time. 